Jate Loluma, welcome back. I finally got the wiring for the um, D21. I've been waiting for these. So it should be two packs of 25 feet. Well, actually, I guess I ordered the six pack. So now that'll allow me to continue working on this front end. <clears throat> These are six color and I believe these are the 12 gauge. So I'll need some black, blue, and green. There's the black. So let me just take a look at this. I was thinking about something last night too. I was thinking... I should probably test this headlamp here because I couldn't immediately find any leaks or any kind of bare wire on this end. So I thought I had me an extra light, but <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just clean these off um, because I don't have a test part, but I'll, what I'll do is I'll put these on and then I'll um, I will Splice it in. So let me just clean these up a little. So earlier I had pulled this wiring harness back some, thinking maybe there was a short or something further back that I could immediately see. But I didn't see anything that stood out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some of the wire back and then splice it in with this. But I did see on some of the um, sites that people recommended the 12 gauge for your automotive wiring. But when you take a look at this, look at the big difference. So I'm thinking about going back so far Well, I thought about going back so far, but what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to go ahead and just clip the edges of these. Strip them back and then splice in the pigtail. And then run a test again. Because if it's not really bad, then I shouldn't 
pull the whole wiring piece off. I know that's not a lot, I should go back further. I also thought about getting <clears throat> a soldering kit and the soldering supplies to solder these on to the pigtail. But I'm just gonna go old school on these for now and then see what happens. I've seen a lot of videos that say don't use these, but this is what I have. And I do feel comfortable with these because you know that you can get a pretty good um, seal or a good connection. So, What I'll do is I'll try to connect these, kind of intertwine them. So I'll pull each of these and kind of split the wires so I can get a good electrical current going through them. At least I hope I can. I tried opening the garage but <clears throat> still too hot outside. So I actually lost some of the, the um, it got hot in here when I opened it. I've been thinking about putting a mini split in here. That way we get to use it. Use the garage during the summers and winters. Look at that. So what I'll do is I'll splice these together and then <clears throat> after that I will. So I'm going to go ahead and just wrap this small piece in between and kind of do a twist around. Hopefully that's enough to get a lot of current in there. And then that might be too small, but. Try it anyway. And then we have next is our, looks like a blue. And then the thicker one, this is the blue. So the thicker one is the green. And I need to look at my diagram, my makeshift diagram here. And I also have this here. So the red to green is on the top. And that goes to the white. And 
then the blue will go to blue. So here, twist that, and twist this around the original <coughs> OEM wire. These are snug, and then I'll do the same for the blue. And then after this, I'll test the voltage on these. Make sure they're snug, there's no bare wire. I'll put the negative battery cable back on. <clears throat> Turn the key on and then I'll check the voltage. So I have that on low right now. And lo and behold, look at this. Remember earlier I showed that it was kind of rubbing on the edge. So that running light is working. I'm going to set this to 20 volts. And I'll see if I can put it somewhere where you can see. So we're gonna do a negative. To the top we have 11.6 volts okay now I'll go and turn it to the high beam <clears throat> the high beam which should be the blue wire here. And look at, we're still reading low. It's still a 6.63 volts. So somewhere along the line, the, the high voltage is not, um, it's not getting enough power <clears throat> so let me plug this in and we'll see what it does okay so it's getting enough to run this here but not all let's see that side has the driver side has all of these working so all of these are lit up on the driver's side so now let me unplug it and then I'm gonna put it to so the driver's side has all bulbs working on the high on the bright so let me go to low the driver's side went out because the white wire isn't connected so that'll be next. And so let me plug this in here. And we still have nothing. But yet we still, we have the 12 volts. I'm wondering if some of these are out. So let me pull this out and then let me get the driver's side and take that off so we can test this here.
So I disconnected the driver's side. And look at we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bulbs working. So now let me go ahead and put this here temporarily. And then I'm going to put on my brakes. So with the brakes on, we have all bulbs working. Sorry, it's a little bright. So what that tells me is the driver's side that we had ordered from Amazon is bad. Don't know if that's a crack on there. So I'll have to order a replacement. And then while I'm waiting on that, I will go ahead and rewire the top, which is the normal beam on the passenger side because that one doesn't have the high beams aren't working on that side so thank you for watching let me go turn on the vehicle and let the battery charge for a bit